Hi there, this is Carrie from Western's Writing Center. And in this quick video, I will show you how to create an APA reference entry for any book, particularly if you are using a textbook. So when you are creating a reference entry for a book, there are four pieces of information that you are going to be looking for. Um, in APA, different sources have different formats for the citation. So the standard format for any book or for a textbook, we are going to be looking for the author and APA uses um, the ordering of the author's last name, and then there's a comma, and the author's first initial. APA does not ever use full first names. The second piece of information we're looking for is the date, and generally that is just the publication year. Third, we'll be looking for the title of the book. Uh, one thing to remember is that APA has unusual rules for capitalization of titles of books and articles. Um, it's called sentence case. And what it means is that we consider the title as a sentence. And so we capitalize as we would in a sentence. So the first word of the title, the first word of the subtitle, if there is one, and then proper nouns. All other words will be lowercase regardless of what the original source looks like. APA's rules are very consistent for capitalization. Then the last piece of information we're looking for is the publisher of the book. So let's take a look at an example of a textbook. And remember the first thing that we're looking for is the author. Generally, you're gonna find the information you need it might be on the very cover of the book. Usually it's on the first and second pages of the book that you're gonna to have to look to find all of this. So we can see this is the second, like you open the book and this is the first page within the book. The author's name is listed. Just pointing out that even though the author has uh, some credentials listed after their name that is not included in the reference entry. It is just last name, comma, first initial. You can do the first and middle initial because it's listed here, but at the very least, the first initial. Then we're going to look for the date. The date is not actually on this first page. So I'm going to have to go to the next page and kind of look around. And you can see we're going to go with the, the most recent copyright date. And so we're looking for that date in the upper right corner that says 2018. Then we're looking for the title of the book. And remember that even though this title is in all caps, APA will never put a title in all caps. So we're going to use that sentence case rule. Uh, this book does have an addition. So we are going to add that after the title. And then lastly, we're looking for the publisher, which is here on the bottom of the first page. So your APA reference entry for this source will look like what you see on the bottom of this page. We have the author, last name, comma, first and middle initial. We have the date in parentheses. We have the title in italics, and it's following that sentence case rule. The addition number is in parentheses after the title, not italicized. And then lastly, we end with the publisher. I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. 